Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this live trading session. My name is Pedro Mejias, and I'm with Redictive Nailing FX. I'm using the order flow system. And before we begin, let's read this disclaimer. You can see um, the screen right now. The following video clips demonstration are for educational and instructional purpose only. Predictive provide these videos purely for the purpose of demonstrating the method of using the product. Users understand that all the content used in the video is purely for demonstration purposes only and is not a guide and does not provide any indication or prediction of actual results. As a user, you understand and agree that hypothetical results obtained to the demonstration do not indicate in any way the result you may receive on using our products. All right, before um, we begin, well, you can see here, you're watching this recording, uh, my email is pedro at predictive.com. I'm at trade with UFO link, it's trade with UFO.com slash pedro. You can use it at any time. You have any question uh, when you watch this recording, remember just send me an email. I'll be very happy to reply you back, okay? Pedro at predictive.com. Okay, uh, as you know or may not know, uh, I only trade the, the euro and the first thing I do is try to figure it out what's the euro doing today. Is this uh, strong, is weak, how it is performing against all the other currencies. And to, to do that, I use the FX street rate information you can see here. Let me put a little bit uh, bigger. Okay, I use the uh, preset euro and it shows me how the, the currency is performing against all the other uh, pairs, okay? And what I pay more, more attention is to the first three because of the, the majors, the pound, the dollar, and the yen are the ones who are going to really indicate me was uh, how the the currency is doing, it's strong, it's weak. And what I tend to look up more is the change during the, the session. Okay, so as I don't trade on the beginning of the session, but mostly on the middle of it, um, is what helped me out to to see how I've been uh, performing during the day, okay, during the, the session, the whole session. And we can see that against the dollar, it's been negative, against the pound, it's been positive against the gens being negative and so on. Okay, you can see uh, against all other currencies. But as I said before, I take more attention to the three, or even four here. And I, um, based on this, I can say that it is, it is a weak euro day. Okay, because we can see it's heavily negative against the yen. It's, uh, it's negative against the dollar, which is the the, the strongest uh, pair. It's positive against the pound, and we can see the uh, effects tree actually has here um, some trend indicator. We can see how it's actually performing. It's a bearish and um, bullish only on the on the on the pound. Okay, so this is one one thing um, we we take into consideration how how strong or how weak is performing uh, during the session, right? The next thing we have to do is um, take this information and try to confirm using the charts, right? All right, so let's um, let's go to a chart and uh, and see where else we can find because the first things we need to do is get a bias on whether we are going to buy or sell. And one thing you can do is easily check out uh, from the beginning of the session, how the uh, the euro has been performing uh, so far. You can see it started here, then trade a little bit high, then goes a little bit sideways here, and then it falls down into this area, okay? And that pretty much confirmed that it was, it is um, a weak euro session uh, today, right? And 
what you see in the screen right now is 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 a trading view um, application okay, in the web browser, and it has the trade with UFOs indicators on it. You can see this red dot here and lines, and this green one. But this is the UFOs. The UFOs indicate uh, where are the selling zones and the buying zone uh, probably are. Okay. Well, you also have here the climate indicator, which tell us um, like the trend of the market, how strong it is. You just see um, big dot here, big circles here. Uh, is it like a confirmed trend? If you see small dots like this one, it's not confirmed yet, but it's confirmed when it's get bigger. So this is how the climate indicator works. And what it's telling us right now, it's, a, it's like in a, in a big trend at the moment. I mean, in what we're looking at, we're looking at five minute chart. So it's, it's interpreting this as a uptrend movement. Okay. And we have the same areas here in this in these sons. Okay. So what we'll probably do according to the trade with UFOs indicator is that the price is going to go into these areas here and go back down because it's, um, you can see it's a very um, strong selling area. Okay. We have four areas pile up here, right? With uh, selling bias. So this is um, another say confirmation on on what we saw before about the the rates now we have some chart confirmation and the ufo indicator telling us also that today we should sell the euro even though we are looking at uh, an uptrend here from the climate indicator because it's of course based on a very very short term we're looking at five minute chart um regarding the the time period i prefer short terms because i i think i'm, I'm going to be more um, accurate trying to predict what's going to happen in a few minutes than in a you know in an hour or so i mean it's, it's pretty hard already to um try to figure it out what's going to happen in the next second to try to do it in the next hour or even days right so I, I prefer to take my chances on pretty small uh, period of time. Okay. All right. So we have this. We have um, the rates telling us the this uh, probably selling day. We have a lot of selling zones here at the top. And now let's move on to the my trading chart, um, the one I use for uh, for for actually trading with the order flow um, technology and information. Okay, before we go to that, uh, remember my email to watch the recording. It's pedro at predictive.com. If you want any software, anything, um, any the the indicators, you can just go to tradewithufo.com slash pedro and, and you get them, you get them there. And if you want the, um, there's a flow software, you send me an email, I will send you a link so you can uh, download and, and test it. Okay. All right. So here we are. This is um, what's going on today on the error. This is a 233 tick chart. I use tick chart because, as I told you before, um, I prefer to go on short terms. And this is actually not time base, but trade base. So you will just look at the trades that has been made. Okay, so it's better. It can happen, you know, many things can happen in a, in an hour, in five minutes, but here it only will be moving if something really happens, okay? With volume. And that's what we're trading here, volume. So let's try to figure it out what to do. Uh, let me just spend you here. Very quickly, you haven't seen any of my videos. What's on the screen right now is the euro. And you can see this is the price, the actual price here on the uh, this dot line. On the right, you can see the, uh, the price. We're looking at the candlestick chart. 
I have some indicators layout here. You can see these green and red lines. Those are imbalances. These arrows just indicate me when there, there is a high volume uh, that actually pushes the price in one direction or another. Okay. The yellow boxes are stopping volume, right? It's volume that has stopped the price from going any lower. And you can see how it actually uh, makes sense, right? You're looking at the this area here okay. okay so what i would like to do is try to find remember the um, the trading view setting area we saw on the top uh, those are probably pending orders there we can see the pending order here how many exactly pending orders are each of these is one lot so we know that for example here there's 118 lots waiting to be uh sold and the same goes for for the buying area okay we know exactly how much uh pending orders are so that's um that's liquidity and we use that uh to trade as well all right so just by looking at this uh chart here i can see i would like to spot let me put this smaller and see how the price is actually uh going higher right it's looking for um you know, to break, it actually breaks this area, this area here, right? This lower area and it's have some momentum going up. And we can see this, the next area will be this one right here. And it's actually where we are going to be putting our, our selling, okay? You can see it's pretty, pretty close to, to where it is right now. And now it's starting to go down. So we could have entered just there. It was in a very nice uh, place to enter. I can see here, for example, this candle at 7 a.m. Uh, I would like to see this in the clusters. Clusters are exactly what's inside the candle, has was being traded, was being traded in real time. We can see that on the order flow system. So let's go to the 7 a.m. candle, which actually make the, the break. Okay, here is this is one with this arrow. And I want to see um, what's the volume here um, on this downside. Uh, I, can, I can spot some interesting areas uh, right now. Uh, one would be this one uh, right here, but this one is actually pretty nice. Let me just get it here, okay. And as we go to the right side, to where the price is right now. Um, it's a very good area to enter because we do have this top right here. So it's gonna go a little bit lower from now. So I'm gonna put um, a setting stop right here. Okay, I got my setting stop um, place in there. So once we hit this, uh, this low, it will open my tray. Okay, I just put one lot uh, as an example. You can put whatever you want, uh, depending on your risk management. Okay, wherever you are in your your account, your risk um, um, potential. Okay, so now we have the tray open. Here is our automatic exit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna move it. Remember that we saw the volume area, so my stop should be just about that volume area we, we saw before, which is right here, you can see now this area, okay, this rotation area. That's where my my stop should be, it's about that area. And my my target, okay, we can check where my target should be. Uh, you can see here, for example, we have this imbalance on, on buying trades. So there's a lot of volume here that's going to make the price a little bit harder to go through this okay so if we want to exit quickly we should be just about this area okay so it's pretty much where we are right now okay just let's put one tick lower so we can make a little bit more money but without you know taking so much risk because we have this high volume here of buyers right here okay so we are inside the trade um you can see we are a little bit negative right now, two, two ticks negative. That's fine. There's nothing um, bad about it. It's normal. 
just um, remember that my email is um, pedro at predicted.com. You have any questions, you have any any comments, uh, since you would like to, to share with me or ask, you can always uh, just send me an email there, okay? Go back to the chart. Okay, you can see we won a lot. We are negative right now, but we still have some room. And our target is right here. So let's see how this um, end in the next minute or so. Okay, let's just wait uh, for a few for a few and see what happened. Uh, we have some time left, so let's see if we can get the trade done before the time expires. Okay, it's moving right now. It's um, moving a little bit lower. Stay right in there in this um, this deviation zone from the big wap. This is the big wap right here. This red line. We have some big trade right now coming. Forty lots on the negative. Maybe this will move the price down or not. Let's see what happened. Sometimes we get a lot of um, of trades like this with high volume and price stay there because they're trying to accumulate um, uh, positions there. And we, we can see that all, we can see how many trades has been made in any direction, okay? Okay, let's see. We have another big trade. You can see the negative trades that's been placed. 140 lots right here, 147. And it's going to start to probably to go lower now. Let's see if we can get our target pretty fast. Just a few ticks away. We still have this all this room here, which is a uh, volume area for protecting our entry. We see that it was we changed to candles. Can easily see here what I'm talking about. This big rotation. That's what protects our entry uh, from from a negative movement. Okay. Price might you know get get into this area but it would get um, very difficult to go through it. Right? That's what we expect to happen. And once it gets rejected from this area, it will move down into back into this area here. Remember that we have this, also this rotation here that will go in this case against us because it's gonna be um a volume area that is pushing actually the price up okay so we we don't expect to price to go any you know lower than this uh anytime soon so that's why we have to exit right before that you can see here the on the liquidity there's 160 lots waiting to be uh bought in this area okay so it's going to be uh harder for the price to you know to go through this that's why we just put our exit one one or tick, two ticks uh, about this this high volume uh, selling lots here. Okay, well, it's moving higher at the moment. Remember that we have our stop loss here, just in case. It has found some resistance again. As it starts moving lower, you can see big trades coming on. 
on the selling side. Starting to move down. Let's go to clusters. See what's going on inside each candle. Okay, so we can see the volume, what is being traded, everything inside each candle. You can see uh, what is actually going on. Remember that the right column is the buying side, and the, the the left column in each candle is the selling side. Okay, so we see big numbers in one side we know that the 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 sellers or the buyers are being aggressive at the moment this the aggressive sellers in this case are going to take whatever is available okay for the buyers here in a market order and that's what is going to be appearing here people who is not being aggressive are just waiting to see what's uh what happened or waiting for the price to reach their their level are the people who actually put in the liquidity here on the right side okay they just put an order there and wait wait for that order to be filled and that's how the markets work in this case and well just remember you're watching the recording you can send me an email anytime at pedroat.com and you want any indicator, the uh, one we saw on the, the trading view app, trading view platform, you can just go to tradewithufo.com slash Pedro, so you can get the trade with UFO indicator, which is the UFOs and the, um, the climate indicator who, who will tell you the, the trend, what is the trend? according to, to the chart you're looking at, okay? And the UFOs, where are the selling at the buying zone? So you can put up your, your limit area, your selling um, areas and stop losses and trade profit as well, okay? What's the chart? Right, it has been there uh, in this area. We have this, another deviation here, the standard deviation. Very close to our exit, to our negative exit in this case, because we, we need to have stop loss. We will never know when things are not going to go away. And so we need to be prepared for that. Remember that you have to uh, put your orders, your volume according to your risk level, your risk parameters. You never exceed that because that will may, may hurt your, your account. In this case, we, we're pretty close to our, to our exit right now. Look like things didn't go our way at the moment. Well, we can see a, a lot of liquidity has been added here um, on the selling side, 129. Somebody took them, that pushed the price up. It's gonna hit our, our exit uh, at any time. We just wait. Order okay, the cancel the order has been canceled. And and that's it. That's the trade of the day. It didn't go as well as as always. So we have to to live with that. All right, in any case, um we're gonna end the session now because that's it, I only do one trade. And thank you for watching the recording. Remember, my name is Pedro Mejias. You can get in contact with me with this email, pedroatredicted.com. And thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching the recording. See you next time, next Monday. Uh, watch the um, fx3.com live video show schedule so you can know where I want to be back again. Right? So thank you. Bye bye.